alert issued for Sheboygan Falls man, child abuse charges filed against the father of a six-month-old, and Sheboygan man facing drunk driving charges after weekend crash. These are the headlines for October 10th, 2018. Stay tuned for these stories and more on Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. Good day, I'm Maddie Fister, and we begin today with a silver alert issued for a missing Sheboygan Falls man. Officials are looking for an 88-year-old Howard Steffen. They say his wife was being taken to the hospital by ambulance and Stefan was to follow the ambulance, but he never arrived at the hospital. He is 88 years old, white, with blue eyes and balding gray hair. He was driving a 2015 Chrysler Town & Country with Wisconsin license plates 111DCF. If you have any information, please call the Sheboygan Falls Police Department at 467-7902. A six-month-old is in the hospital. His father arrested after the child began vomiting, having seizures, and rushed to the emergency room last week. Antonio Chavez is facing a felony charge of physical abuse of a child after Sheboygan police were called to investigate abuse allegations. Court documents say that the child was left in the care of Chavez while his mother was away at work. The child became irritable, vomited, and Chavez told the investigators that he bathed the infant and put him down for a nap. When the mother returned home, the vomiting continued and the child had a seizure. A CT scan showed bleeding on the brain and the child was then rushed to Children's Hospital in Milwaukee. Chavez told investigators that the child would not stop crying, so he rocked the baby, saying that he could hear the child gasping for air as he was rocking the baby. If he is found guilty, Chavez is facing up to 15 years in prison. A Sheboygan man's been arrested and charged after a drunk driving crash last Friday. Police were called to an accident at Kentucky Avenue at South 9th Street, and witnesses told them that Robert Ojega had hit a Dodge Caravan with his Chevy Cobalt and then hit three parked cars in the parking lot at Longfellow Middle School. The criminal complaint says that Ojeda had gotten out of the car and appeared to grab some small baggies from inside of the passenger door and put them in his pockets. Officer had Ojega perform a field sobriety test and his breath test results showed he was well over the legal limit. The driver of the minivan was, that was hit was taken to the hospital to be treated and Ojeda was arrested and now facing a felony charge of OWI causing injury, which carries a six-year prison term if he is found guilty. There has been a significant shift in the race for governor in Wisconsin. A new Marquette Law School poll shows Scott Walker has retaken a narrow lead from challenger Tony Evers, 47 to 46%. The results are within the poll's margin of error, and Evers had opened a five-point lead in the same survey a month ago. The biggest chance or change was among independent voters. Evers had enjoyed a 20-point lead among independents in, in September, and that has now shrunk to only 6%. The poll also shows incumbent Senator Tammy Baldwin maintaining a sizable lead over challenger Leah Vukmore, 53 to 43%. The same poll also shows Donald Trump's job approval rating improving in Wisconsin, from 42% last month to now 46%. The poll has a margin of error of 3.9%.
Suspended UW Madison wide receiver Quintez Cephas is suing the university, saying that the student disciplinary investigation is violating his rights. Cephas filed the suit on Tuesday, claiming that the university was wrong to suspend him from the football team while he is facing sexual assault allegations. A second and third degree sexual assault charge is pending against him. The lawsuit says Cephas would not take part in the campus investigation by the school's Title IX officer because it may compromise his criminal defense. The court filing says defendants have knowingly and intentionally forced Cephas into the predicament of having to either waive his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination by choosing to participate in the university process, despite potential harm to his criminal defense, or decline to participate in the university's process, thus leading to the inevitable finding of responsibility and severe sanctions. The lawsuit asks that the university delay its investigation until the criminal case is resolved. His arraignment is scheduled on Thursday. Cephas is charged with sexually assaulting two women at an off-campus party last April, and he has pled not guilty. And the last group of single game tickets for the National League Championship Series games at Miller Park are sold out. The tickets were gone shortly after they went on sale on Tuesday morning at Brewers.com. Fans will now have to look for the secondary ticket market and pay much higher prices. Field level tickets have been selling for as high as $500 with an upper deck seats going for $150. A few tickets will be made available for those who put down a deposit on the 20 game or full season ticket plan for next year, but those tickets are expected to be gone in the next day or so. The Brewers will host the Los Angeles Dodgers on Friday night at 7.09 p.m. Central Time and on Saturday afternoon at 3.09 p.m. Central Time. If necessary, the series would return to the Miller Park for games 6 and 7 on Friday, October 19th, and Saturday, October 20th. And that is all for this edition. Join me again next time for another recap of our local stories on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.